Hi, welcome to The Hub Show. In this video, we've got a big bike maintenance giveaway to tell you about. Lauren will be taking a look at what you've been saying over in the community tab. We've got Neil's mystery picture round. Plus, we're gonna be taking a look at your pictures and videos from social media. Let's go. Right, if you haven't already seen it, we have got the ultimate bike maintenance bundle giveaway going on right now over on the Hub website. And in the giveaway, we've got a Moby portable bike pressure washer, a five-piece brush set, some cleaner, some concentrate, a chain cleaner, ceramic lubricant, and a 39-piece tool kit. All you need to do for a chance to win is head over to the Hub website, enter your details, and that's it. We've put a link down in the description, so good luck. This is the part of the show where we take a look at what you guys have been saying over on the community tab. The first question we asked you guys was what brand of fork are you running? The options were RockShox, Fox Suspension, Suntour or Other. 51% of you said RockShox, 26% of you said Fox Suspension, 13% said Suntour and 10% of you said Other. And let's take a look at what you said in the comments. Zach Wamsley said I'm currently rocking an X Fusion and it hasn't let me down yet. Chad Burt said, Fox 36, if I change the suspension on my bike, it will probably be to DVO. John Mutter said, Allen's Coil RXF 36, smooth feel, hassle-free, dependable with plenty of adjustment. Hadil Kalani said, I have Sunter on one of my bikes and Fox on two. And to round this one up, Mr. Peter said, there are so many great forks out there and I have had the chance to ride a few different brands. I always end up going back to RockShox. The second question we asked you guys is, what is your favorite snack on a ride? The options were trail mix or nuts, energy bars or gels, fruit or other. 16% of you said trail mix or nuts, 52% said energy bars or gels, 15% said fruit and 17% said other. Personally, I love a coffee and donut on the way to the trails, but let's see what you guys said in the comments. Gary Gilbert said granola bar and a banana. Blank said banana, chocolate milkshake, protein and energy, winning formula for 22 years. We'll have to try that one. Chris Jones said flapjack and coffee. Sam MTB TV said a salty snack like nuts, pita chips or something like homemade rice, bacon and egg muffins. Sugar doesn't work for me. And to wrap this one up, William Work said, my snacks always seem to vary when out riding. The only constant is I want my bike to eat up the dirt. And the final question we asked you guys was, do you prefer to buy off the shelf or custom build bikes? The options were pre-built or custom build. 52% of you said pre-built, and 48% of you said custom build. Bit of a close one there. Now let's take a look at what you said in the comments. Dan Pratt said, I've always bought off the shelf. Once you get into a certain price bracket, the components tend to be pretty good anyway. Once they wear out, or I decide the color needs changing, I swap the part out and usually upgrade it at the same time. Raggle Fraggle said, custom, I like a project. Trail Pimp said, I like pre-built but top of the line. Really like the Vetus and Nookproof top end builds. Jason Rue said, pre-built because you can upgrade as you go. Plus it's a bit cheaper and you can get a decent ride straight out of the box. I would love to have the time and money to have built it how I want, but I haven't and most of the time you get a good bike off the shelf if you know what you're looking for. And to wrap this one up, Battle Cry MTB said, Custom is always cooler, but sometimes you can't beat going pre-built because you know it's going to work really well. Let's take a look at the pictures and videos you've been uploading to social media using the hashtag CRCHub, hashtag Chain Reaction Cycles. First up, it's Tun Up or Shut Up 100, like the name. They say new frame, all fitted, and now to dial everything in, already feels faster. That is a gorgeous looking nuke proof reactor by the looks of it. Love the look of that. Let us know how, you, how the first ride went. We're really interested to know. What have you got on there? Some hope breaks. Got a RockShox lyric by the looks of it. No drop a seat post. Interesting. 
on to the next. Next one is what a wonderful world in Cumcarn Forest. Absolutely beautiful part of the world down in South Wales there. First time at Cumcarn, uh, we got a cube chilling in the sun there, a giant, maybe another cube, maybe a Vitas. Looks like a gorgeous day to be out in the forest. Love that one. On to the next one, glass trails. They say fresh pow powder coat for the Vitas in a beautiful bronze, thanks to McNeely brown coatings and a hope wheel set ready for spring, summer. What a picture. Thanks for sharing that one, Glass Trails. On to the next, we've got a crash coming up. I unfortunately won't be on the bike for a while because I had a nasty old crash and bent my forks. Bent your forks, so, I w so the bike won't be in use until I get a new sweat. Swipe if you'd like to see the crash. Let's swipe. All right, come in. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, different camera angle. Oh, <laughs> flipping heck. <laughs> that does look rough. Any pictures of the fork? <laughs> Who was that? Jack, I hope you're doing okay, Jack. That looked like a big off there. Give us an update on your injuries and the bike. And now it's time for the mystery picture round. Here's three pictures we want you to try and identify in the comment section below. Good luck. There you go, that's another episode of The Hub Show. Thank you as ever for getting involved. If you want to answer any questions from today's show, click the link in the description. And to get involved in next week's show, hit the community tab on this channel. Have a fab weekend. Take it easy. See, I don't really eat cheese. Unpopular opinion. You literally have these eating through here. Oh, seriously? Oh, record. Bit. Stop recording and then that's it. This question made me so hungry when I was reading the options. What, the snack? The snack when I was on. <laughs> yeah, I've been working on my neck. Getting my neck taller. i stretching my head a little bit every night. Like that. I knew this name was going to get me, but I said it four times yesterday. John Mutter said, All in. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. No. Oh, well, no. Yeah. Only me.